hello grade 5 this is a science period and we are in first class of our online class of this subject and i want to welcome each one of you i hope every one of you are fine and well at a home okay let me show you your new science book we are using symphony my way science health and physical education and this is the next page of your book if you turn your books th these are the pages now we are in content uh, all the topics which we will read in grade 5 are here please go through it we will be reading word of animals life process word of plants etc okay now let's start our class we will start from unit 1 world of animals unit 1 chapter 1 there is vertebrates and invertebrates Okay, we all know that there are many animals in the world. Some are big and some are small. Some live in water, some found in land. They eat different types of food. However, they all can be categorized or classified into two major groups on the basis of skeleton they have in their body. And the two types of or two groups of animals is one is vertebrates and another is invertebrates. Animals having backbone in them are known as vertebrates. Some examples are human, fish, bird, tiger, cow, lion, etc. And those animals which do not have backbone in them are known as invertebrates. Examples are earthworm, leaves, jellyfish, etc. And if you don't know what is backbone means, the here is the pictures of some of the animals' skeleton. Backbone is the frame of the body. Okay, now let's read in details about vertebrates as I had told you that vertebrates are the animals which have backbone in them the only 3% in animals are vertebrates they but they are superior than other animals due to their developed brain and body do you know once again vertebrates animals are reclassified in five groups number one Pisces they live in water uh, so for example, seahorse, shark, trout, fish, etc. And number two, amphibians. They live on both on land and in water. Uh, example, frog, toad, salamanders, etc. And number three, reptiles. They are the animals which crawl on the ground. Birds, they can fly and they have beak. And number five, that is mammals which give birth to their young ones. For example, cow, dog, bat, and etc. Okay, now it's time to read about invertebrates. Animals which do not have backbone in them are known as invertebrates. They really do not have internal skeleton. Hence, their body is soft and less developed in comparison to vertebrates. They cannot stand upright for a long time due to lack of backbone. Invertebrates can be found in both land and sea. Those invertebrates which are found in sea are known as marine invertebrates and those invertebrates which are found in land are known as terrestrial invertebrates and even invertebrates can be parasite as well. Okay, this must for today. I hope you get something ideas about invertebrates and vertebrates. Now it's time to do homework. Your homework is doing page number 15, 16 and 17 which is the exercise of you, chapter 1 and all the works are from the chapter 1. Please go through the book and get some idea and do the homework. Thank you for joining the class. Enjoy your day. Have a safe day.